Hello, America. This is Eddie Marcus again with the most fantastic news of all. I want you to know, I want to remind you because you already know, it is the slave master that created America. It will require a slave to fix it. In America today, Donald Trump's voice is the voice of the slave master. My voice is the voice of the slave of freedom. What we have, ladies and gentlemen, is a situation that we've had as long as America has been here. Today, we who are live here in America have gotten a chance to see all we have seen, heard all we have heard. And we don't need anybody to try to lie to us and tell us we didn't see it and we didn't hear it. What we know is that the slave master is never going to fix this system because the slave master doesn't know how. And if he did, he's fearful that his actions are going to cause him some regret. The slave knows better. The slave has learned the lesson of being brutal. He's been brutalized, and he has no intention to brutalize anybody else because he knows whatever goes out comes back. And that's what the white man is thinking. So what am I saying to you, ladies and gentlemen? I'm saying to you this. Freedom is very, very basic, and freedom is very, very hard, and it's very, very easy for those who know freedom and want freedom. Why am I saying this to you? Let me tell you what freedom is like. <clears throat> Freedom is like changing this system to work for all of us. This is a slave master system. The slave master system is never going to work for the people. You can pass a law today with the rest of the country all messed up in laws and 50 years down the road maybe change another law, talking about getting some unity. Only fools follow stuff like that. What I propose to you, ladies and gentlemen, in spite of what the slave master has told you, is that there is another power that you can't see. It is God. It is God, my friends. You can't see. God is invisible. He's not white. He's not black. He's not a he. He's not a she. I don't know what God is except power. Power and love. Power and love. Why do I say love? Because I'm living. And all of the stuff that I've been through is only because of love that I'm here. And why am I here in spite of all other people that have died so that I can share this message with you? There is a God who prepared this earth for all that lives on it. And that includes human beings, every last one of us. That God is not like us, we the people, Trump, the Democrats, Americans, or Russians, or whomever. God prepared this earth that all that is required for each of us to survive has been implanted within the earth. It might be above it, it might be on it, it might be under it. It might be seen or invisible. But whatever is required to be able to contact that, to, a, to come into communication with that and utilize that for whatever purpose it is this, this determined to be used for, within the population of individuals and the gifts that's distributed, with the people to utilize and their being here to engage themselves in the process of creating those things that are essential, those things that people need, those pe things that people want, are embedded within individuals so that when they engage themselves by choosing the career that they love, that gives them their greatest joy, then they know that what they do is the thing that gives them joy. Housing and food and clothing, that's just cream on the top. Cream on the top for all of the people on the earth. Why? Because everybody that's in the position to work, what I mean by that is old enough, trained. So what I'm basically saying that all facilities, education is free. It was designed free for people, for all people who wanted that, who needed it for whatever their careers are. Education, healthcare, you know what it's for to keep you healthy. Housing, you know what that's for. Food, you know what that's for. All of these things God has provided that they be met by every individual and received by every individual. Now, my friends, what do this do us? We got our joy. We have our needs for survival met. There is no problem with any of those things. And what comes out of that? Out of that, we have peace and prosperity and freedom and joy of our lives. And what does that mean? Our dreams come true. What does that mean? Our needs, our wants, and our desires are met. When we decide that we want to get something from the reservoir, it is determined by us, and the system accommodates that. My friends, no lying, no cheating, no stealing, no killing, no terror, no wars, no racism, no hatred, no bigotry. Now, this is the information that has been given to this man who is the descendant of a slave. This is the option that you have. 
while you have the slave master over there lying backwards and forward, trying to get the whole nation to believe in lies so they can perpetuate evil against the people of this nation. They, my friends, when you start talking about that, what do they talk about? They talk about war, race wars. That's what they want to do. They have no connection with life. They are evil. That when I say they, I'm talking about I'm talking about the actions that the people want to manifest as evil action. Now these people themselves are not, they are people just like me. They are God fearing, well not God fearing, but they are God people just like me. They got the option to be free or the option to be a, a, a slave to sin. This is their option. This is the option that we all have. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what is being offered to you. Freedom or hell. So what does that basically mean? That the it should stop now. The buck should stop now. It should either be freedom, which means that all people who have been oppressed, all people who are second-class citizens, all women who have been abused by men, all other people who are upset with the way the system treats them, should not pick up knives and stuff and stuff. Fight, just resist and claim truth. Claim the truth that I shared with you. Claim God and refuse to give any life to Satan. Refuse to give any life to this evil stuff. And you, my friends, that's what you're doing. That is the way to change the system and make the system proper. Now, all of this other stuff that I've been talking about is designed to keep this from happening. When you remove, let's take Trump and his voice of complete evilness. Let's set it down for a while. The rest of America, leaving Trump and all those people out, is not qualified to take us forward. It is the rest of America that brought us to this point where all of this evil is perpetuated, where the things that I've been talking to you about, I've been talking about it for 40 years, and it has been resisted because we live in a system designed by evil that does not want this message told. Do you know that in the scriptures, they tell you, and most preachers will say it, can't nobody come back and, and think, 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 here they go, things are not going to get right till Jesus come back. Well, in that same book, they say Jesus is not coming back unless he's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle. So what, who, who, who eliminate those spots? Who eliminate those wrinkles? So you can forget that. I'm not trying to bring you the truth according to the Bible. I'm bringing the truth according to my heart. I am freed by my heart relationship with what God has given to me. And I have no reason to bite my tongue for that. Let me say it again. Today we should do what God wants us to do so we can all be free or we should have a battle with the, with the racists. With the racists, that they want to live for God to the point that they're going to get guns and do the same thing to American citizens, the same thing that Putin is doing to uh, Ukraine, what are we putting it off for? What are we waiting? If it's coming, let's get it on so we can get this thing straight. I am tired. Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm almost at the back door. My whole life lived through this hell hole. My whole life, your whole life lived through this hell hole. Some of you had some good times, but at the expense of everybody else that's living through this hell hole. Those people down in Mississippi, those people down in Alabama, those people down in Georgia, those people in California, those people in New York who are going through all kinds of changes represent the people all over the country that's going through all that change. And we, the people of this country, represent people all over the world that's going through this change. And it's time somebody to set the devil down and turn to get the hell out of here. So I'm asking you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm offering to you, let us change this thing. Let us lift up God. What does that mean? Let us lift up freedom. What does that mean? Let us lift up joy for life for everybody and take rid of this crap that these devils, these slave owners and slave masters have no idea what it means to love. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you now, what are you going to do about it? I know I didn't tell you enough right now. I just gave you a little information. But that's, don't worry about that. Even if you hear nothing else from me, after this date, I got videos to strip you back at least 10 or 15 or 20 years. I've been talking about this a long time. Ain't nothing new to me. It's, ain't nothing new. You have rejected it, and I understand why. They didn't want you to hear. They kept it from you. They just like over in what they say in Russia. I have to go back every now and then to give you some, something that you can understand. The only thing that Russian people get on the, on the state news are lies. The same kind of lie that Carson... Car, what is his name? Tucker, Tucker Carson. That was saying, when you listen to Tucker Carson, if you listen, you hear the lies that he tells. You hear those lies. You know they're lies. And those are the only lies, the kind of lies that the people in Russia get. They don't get people coming trying to be soft and tell us some truth, tell us a part of the truth. And it, it might be kind of messed up a little bit. They try to tell the truth a little slanted to their ways. 
but it's some measure of truth. When they're getting no truth, when Tucker Carlson is giving out no truth, and this this the stuff that we want to live in, I'd be damned if I'm going to sit up here and live in this same world with somebody like those senators down there. They sitting up there acting like snakes in front of the American people's face. You see governors, people acting like snakes all around our damn face, and we're going to sit back and talk about these are the people going to be running the system that we're going to be living in. Who are we? Tell me, who are we? If we continue with this another day, we are nothing but demons ourselves. We might be fear that makes us that, but it doesn't matter. A demon is a demon. Whether he walk in boldly or walk in his fear, he's a demon. But God says, baby, today is the day you can be liberated. I have shared a measure of truth with you. America was created by a slave master that happened to be white. If America is going to be free, it's going to be free by a slave, a descendant of a slave who happens to be black. You can bet your life on that.